If you have a big ass belly, here's three things you should never eat. So number one is gonna be a drink. Beverages with calories. The last thing you want to do is waste a bunch of your calories on things that have no nutritional value. It's just a bunch of sugar, carbs, no fats, no protein. It's gonna keep you big as hell. Stay away from this. Next is gonna be items that have more carbs and fats than they do protein. Like chips. This motherfucker Chester has been keeping you fat for years. It's 10 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. And last but not least, skinned and breaded protein sources. If you get one of these, cause you see the buffalo style and you want that nice spicy night of dinner, you gonna fuck up your nutritional value cause it's mostly fats, 12 grams, 15 grams of carbs, carbs and only 12 grams of protein. This is the nutritional equivalent of a fucking candy bar. Stop eating this bullshit. And if this was helpful and you want me to make more content about the right things to eat, drop a fire emoji in them comments and I'll make more. Here's the protein sources that are keeping you big as hell. So oftentimes guys start their fitness journey knowing that they need to get more protein to lose body fat, but they pick the wrong protein sources. Let me show you which ones to stay away from. Meatballs. Low amounts of protein, high amounts of fat, a bunch of needless carbs in it, and usually they stuff it with stuff that's gonna have the sodium all high, and you out here all bloated holding water weight. Let me show you another one. Lamb chop. Tastes good, don't it? Well, guess what? It's mostly bone, fat, barely any protein. It's a waste of time, stay away from it. Unless you wanna stay fat. Hot dogs, bacon, fat, more fat. Stay away from these. Look at these wings. They smell good, they look good, they probably taste good. Well, it ain't good for your goals. It's gonna keep you fat because it's mostly fat. It's all that bone and you gotta do more work just to get the protein out of it. There's so many better options out there, guys. And if you want more help on what protein sources you should be looking for, type protein in the comments and I'll make that content for you. These bread options keep you fat. Let's be clear, bread by itself does not make you big as hell. But if you're choosing the wrong options when it comes to your bread selections, you can become a person with a big ass belly. Let me show you what to avoid. A lot of you guys love starting your day with some Thomas bagels. They delicious, nutritious, but they keeping your stomach really fucking big. It's 270 calories, 53 grams of carbs, and only two grams of fiber, 10 grams of protein barely any fiber and little protein, which means that it's gonna digest quickly and make you hungry as hell again. Instead, keep this on the shelf where it belongs and take your big ass up here to the top shelf. Go get something like the Sola. The reason it's so good is the calories are much lower. Same size bagel, six grams of fat, 33 grams of carbs, but here's the big one. 24 grams of fiber, 16 grams of protein. That means it's gonna be very filling. It's gonna digest slower than that other bullshit. And more importantly, the more nutritional value you get, the more of this that you can eat and help you stay in that deficit. You're gonna be much fuller on some shit like this. Now, this was helpful and you want me to talk about more bread options that'll help you get ripped. Go ahead, drop a flex emoji in them comments and I'll make more videos. Here's the foods that are keeping you fat. All these cereals, they're magically delicious. You love them, they bring you back to your childhood, but they're keeping you fat as hell. Instead, guys, I say get a cereal like Magic Spoon. It's low in carbs, high in protein, and essentially it's no sugar. So you're gonna get a good amount of protein per serving, keep you nice and full without all the drawbacks of all that sugary shit over there. Let me show you the next one. We got Oreos. Now you guys may look at this one and see gluten-free and think, oh man, this is the healthy alternative. But guess what? It has little to no nutritional value. It's all gonna turn into sugar and body fat. Let me show you a better alternative. What you're gonna wanna do is go with a high protein cookie. Quest has a good brand because not only is the sugar super low, it's less than one gram, but you're also getting some protein in it to make sure that it slows the release of insulin into the body. Guys, if you want more tips on how to get ripped and eat good, comment the word foods below and I'll make more content like this. Here's a few snacks that are keeping you fat. So a lot of guys start their fitness journey to get ripped and they grab options that they think are healthy, but they're actually keeping you big as hell. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Lunchables. If you look on the back, this thing is loaded with fat. So 16 grams of fat, 39 grams of carbs, and 
11 grams of protein. Stay away from options where the protein is the lowest of the three macros. Let me show you something else to stay away from. Smuckers Uncrustables. A lot of guys think that this is fucking healthy for some reason. If you look on here, it's nine grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs, and only six grams of protein. Very little nutritional value if you're trying to get ripped. Balance breaks. They should call this the big belly break because all you getting is a bunch of needless fats, 10 grams of carbs, and barely any protein. If the protein is the lowest macronutrient, stay away from this shit. But maybe you're doing this because you just don't know what's the best snacks to help you get ripped. I can help with that. Comment meals below and I'll see if I can make you a custom meal plan around your lifestyle. Here's the snacks that keep you fat. If you like cookies, but you don't wanna stay fat, watch this video. So a lot of you guys are out here saying that you wanna lose weight, but you eating things that's keeping your stomach big as hell. Here's one of the biggest culprits. Cookies, wafers, all this shit keeping your stomach big as hell. And let me show you why. Some of you guys will go away from the traditional, so the Keebler Elves that give you diabetes. We coming over here to the Zero Sugar brand. What you're not recognizing is something like this digest super fast and makes you hungry and hungry and hungrier. The nutritional value is 90 calories, but it's five grams of total fat, 12 grams of carbs, less than a gram of fiber, and only one gram of protein. If the fiber and the protein is lower than that carb and fat ratio, it means it's gonna digest fast as fuck and you're gonna be hungry again later. Instead of that, take your big ass over here and get this snack I'm about to show you. The healthy vegan bites. Not only is this shit delicious, but the macro Macros are amazing. They're trying to cover it up, but it has five grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. Much better option for the same amount of calories because that high amount of fiber is gonna help it digest and stay with you longer. Now, if this was helpful and you want more alternatives for different sweets, go ahead, drop a- These breakfast foods are keeping you big as hell. So whether it's muffins, donuts, these muffin top things, whatever these are, or even bagels, they all fucking trash and keeping you fat. Here's why. Let's take the bagels, for example. You motherfuckers love these, I know. You see it's 270 calories and 53 grams of carbs, only 10 grams of protein, 1.5 grams of total fat. Something like this is gonna cut into an exceeding amount of your daily worth of carbohydrates. And if you're not super active, about to go run a fucking marathon right after you eat it, it's gonna sit right on you. Instead, you wanna switch to lower carb, high protein, high fiber options like these that I'm about to show you. I recommend getting something like a high fiber wrap. I know the reason y'all getting these fucking bagels is because you're not cooking. It's all good. Just grab something like this, throw some lunch meat with some tuna in it, and now you've got high protein, high fiber all in one go. And you didn't have to cook. Another thing you can do is take your ass right over here to the refrigerator section and get you some Greek yogurt. 20 grams of protein per case. I do two of these for like a breakfast meal and maybe sprinkle in some berries for you a little extra fiber and flavor or you can mix in some nuts pause give you that crunch and give you those healthy fats now if this was helpful and you want a part two let me know in the comments with a fire emoji and i'll make that for you yeah man and that's why you shouldn't eat it Yo, whoever's eating this is gonna be big as hell. So a lot of you guys are starting your days off with shit like this. Whether it's the caramel macchiato or any of this litany of things, it's all just sugar and carbs and it's gonna lay on your big ass stomach. Essentially, when you are drinking your coffee in the morning, you're killing your body's ability to actually tap into fat as a fuel source because all you're doing is loading it up with this sugar, your body's secreting insulin and it's putting that in your muscles and cells and it's running off that. Here's a better way to start your day. Instead, I would recommend you just getting you some black coffee, something like this right here. It has only five calories in it and it's still gonna keep you caffeinated and energized. Something like this will help your body start to burn stored energy. So burn that fat, burn that glucose that's already on your body. Another great pro tip is just mix your protein in in the morning with your coffee. That way you're starting the day off ahead of the game with your overall protein goals. Now, if this was helpful and you want me to make a part two, you know what to do. Drop a fire emoji in them comments and I'll make that video. Hey, these breakfast foods, they keeping you big as hell, part three. So you love pancakes, I love pancakes, but they also keeping you fat as hell if you're not taking into account how many calories are in this. You look at something like Krusty's and you're like, God damn, it's delicious, but it may be keeping your stomach big. 210 calories, one gram of total fat per 45 grams of carbs, only four 
grams of protein. If you're not going to go be active immediately, it's going to sit on your big ass stomach. Instead, minimize on your carb intake by doing this. Comfortably pull up and get that Kodiak cake. The Power Cake waffle mix is only 180 calories, three grams of fat, 29 grams of carbs, so you're saving some there. Three grams of fiber, 13 grams of protein. You also don't want to mess up by getting something like the Miss Buttersworth. It's 110 calories per two tablespoons, 27 grams of carbs. So if you slathering this on your mix, it's going to be all your days worth of carbs really quickly. Instead, comfortably come over and get that Walden Farms pancake syrup mix. Zero calories, baby. It don't get no better than that. I would also say something like this is much better than honey. Y'all think this is healthy, but it's actually 17 grams of carbs per one tablespoon. Most of y'all don't measure in tablespoons. That's why your stomach big. All in all, these simple swaps can help you minimize on your caloric intake and maximize on your progress with your fat loss. Now, if you want me to make a part four, go ahead and drop a flex emoji below and I'll make that video. Here's the breakfast foods that are keeping you big as hell, part four. So all of this stuff, all of it is keeping you fat. None of it's good. It has no value. It's just sugar, carbs, and it's gonna keep you big unless you are super active right after you consume it. I think you should take your big ass to this direction and I can show you a better alternative. One of the best things about cereal is it's super convenient. You literally just add milk and go. And what you wanna look for when you're getting some cereals is something that maybe has some protein in it, like maybe the Premier Protein cereal. It's 20 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, 5 grams of total fat. I also would like definitely say something like the Catalina Crunch, which is keto friendly and the hippie vegans can eat it too. It's 11 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbs, 5 grams of total fat. Much more nutritional value when it comes to getting that protein and fiber into your diet so that not only you say satiated and full, but it regulates your blood sugar in a way that don't have you out here tired as hell midday. You want to see your boy make a part five? Go ahead, drop that fire emoji below and I'll make it real quick. Here's the breakfast foods that are keeping you fat, part five. So a lot of you guys will come in and get like these energizing packs, smoothies, or you'll mix all your fruits together and throw a little green leaf in there and say that it's healthy, not realizing that all you're really doing is making some fruity Kool-Aid to start your day with. That's what's keeping you big. You are putting in way too many calories at the start of your day and you're not doing anything to slow that digestion down. You're just eating too many carbs and you're not getting enough protein and fiber to actually keep you full and satiated throughout the day. Instead, do this. What I would do is get like a pre-mixed protein shake and maybe have a fruit on the side. That way you're getting the nutritional benefits of having the fruit and getting some protein into your diet as well. It's gonna keep you nice, satiated, and full throughout the day. Now, if this was helpful and you want more content like this, go ahead, drop a flex emoji in them comments and I'll make more videos. If you have a big belly, watch this. Three things that you need to do to get rid of that stomach. So first thing is you need to read labels. If you look at something like this, the nutrition facts on one donut is 290 calories. That's 18 grams of fat, 30 grams of carbs, and two grams of protein. Shit like this, you will think that, oh man, it's just a little donut, it's not a big deal. But when you eat it, it's an excessive amount of your daily calories. Stop eating stuff like this. Focus on eating what I'm gonna show you next. You wanna practice the LUV method. That's load up on volume. Things like protein sources. You see this chicken breast tenderloins packet. One serving is about 110 calories and there's four servings in here. Give you 25 grams of protein. So that's roughly about 400 calories for this whole packet. Just over what that one little itty bitty donut was. So you see what I'm getting at? Instead of starving your body, like a lot of people try to do to get that belly fat off, you wanna feed your muscles something that's gonna boost your metabolic rate so you lose this fat and you keep it off. Let me show you one more thing. Get you a meal prep system. The key to getting results that you can repeat is getting something that you can do consistently. I teach my clients to meal prep and actually prepare ahead of time and not just be out here winging it with the nutrition. And if you're ready to start making time for your wellness, comment the word me below and I'll see if I can help you with a custom nutrition strategy next.